Welcome to GameSpot's Top 10 TV Games, brought to you by Family Guy Online. Starting things off at number 10 is Voltron, Defender of the Universe. The twin-stick shooter for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 lets players control their favorite robot lions and merge to form the Voltron robot during boss battles. While the game is not very good, hey, can you really put a price on nostalgia? The answer is yes. Coming in at number 9, Lost via Domus. While you didn't get to play as Jack or Sawyer, you did get to explore the mysterious island. Players took control of Elliot Maslow, a photojournalist who has amnesia, and like everyone else, he has to avoid the black smoke monster and investigate the island to find out how to escape. At number 8, it's the Simpsons Arcade Game. While it certainly won't be considered a classic due to its short length and utter simplicity, the Simpsons Arcade Game definitely ate a ton of our quarters, and was at the top of the fun food chain when it was originally released in the arcades. Ah, uh, who can forget Scrooge McDuck, our favorite pint-sized duck friends Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and GameSpot's all-time greatest game sidekick, Launchpad McQuack. At number 7, Disney's DuckTales for the NES captured the essence of the show as players controlled Scrooge and took him to far-off lands to rob civilizations of their most prized treasures. Not only was it fun, but it also sold almost 2 million copies worldwide. Get paid, Scrooge! What?! In the sixth spot, it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds. While most games based on television or film sometimes fail to capture the spirit of the show, Buffy the Vampire Slayer didn't have that problem. In fact, it's one of the few games based on a TV show that actually got people to watch the show, just based on how awesome the game was. And nothing beats dialogue like this. You shouldn't have come back because I've been saving up a big hunk and serving a whoop-ass just for you. At number 5, it's the X-Files Resist or Serve. Like Buffy, the X-Files for the PlayStation 2 really captured the soul of the show as players controlled either Mulder or Scully investigating bizarre murders in Red Falls, Colorado. Zombies, aliens, and Scully shooting dogs and kicking dudes. Get em! What's better than watching Naruto Ultimate Ninja? I'm playing the video game, of course. At number 4, Naruto Ultimate Ninja for the PlayStation 2 let fans play as their favorite spiky-haired ninjas, flying through the air, beating each other down with the ease of mashing some buttons. Earth-style headhunter jutsu! You and your stupid jutsu! That and the game looked almost exactly like the show. For Pokemon fans out to collect them all, our third best TV show game, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, let them do it in color? Pokemon Puzzle Challenge for the Game Boy Color has been praised for its addictive gameplay, even though it holds little similarity to the Pokemon franchise. But hey, who wouldn't want to play a handheld version of Tetris in color? Let's face it, in the 80s there were only a few kids who didn't want to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Coming in at number 2, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Arcade Game let you do just that. As Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, or Raphael, your job was to take down Shredder and rescue April O'Neil and Splinter from his clutches. That, and ride some sweet jet-propelled skateboards. Cowabunga, dude! And coming in at number one is The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Based on Batman, the animated series, The Adventures of Batman and Robin came out to much fanfare in the mid-90s. Nintendo Power criticized the game for not giving Robin a more active role, but hey, at least he gave Batman some moral support while he was crushing baddies. There you have it, GameSpot's Top 10 TV Games brought to you by Family Guy Online.